Today, we're going to take you through the life of a character with a very unpleasant personality, Patricia Maleficent Patty Bouvier, aka Lady Shrek. We're going to start from her past and end with a little insight into her future. This is the Patty Bouvier Timeline. Background. Patty Bouvier is the daughter of the late Clancy Bouvier and Jacqueline Bouvier. Patty seemed to have had a good relationship with her mother Jacqueline Bouvier, even though Jacqueline saw her twin children as being slightly evil due to the nuisance they created everywhere they went. Seeing that, Patty confessed to playing the card game Hearts on Tuesday nights with her mother for the last 20 years. It kind of means it wasn't all that bad at home. However, Patty is one of Marge's twin sisters and the younger twin to Selma Bouvier. She's known for having partnered with Selma to give Marge a hard time as a child when they knew she wanted to be an astronaut. They even made her do extra chores when she asked them for money. In episode 21 of season 2, Marge recounts one very traumatic event her sisters had caused in her childhood. Little Marge worked and worked for months while Patty and Selma smoked and smoked all the time. Eventually, Marge finally gets her dream oven and she even used it to make treats for her bullying sisters. At that age, you could tell that Marge wasn't so happy in her family and she never got the fun experience other kids would have with their older siblings at her age. But her mom had advised her to keep on smiling no matter the situation. In contrast to her childhood, Patty and Selma seem overprotective of their sister Marge in her old age, especially when it came to her choice of husband, Homer. And boy oh boy, Patty hates Homer with a passion. She hates him so much, she even once leaked the question of a driving test to Otto just so that Otto could staple his license to Homer's big bald head. Of course, Patty can do such a thing. She works at the DMV, Department of Motor Vehicles, with her twin Selma. Patty is in charge of testing the drivers before they get their license in Springfield. And, of course, you'd wait for a long time before getting that license because she has no dedication or passion for her job. But you know what she does have a passion for? Smoking. Chain smoking Patty. Her smoking is the reason she has such a raspy voice and even the reason her hair is so gray. The 13th episode of season 22 reveals that Marge's hair isn't naturally blue, but gray if we want to go back to her roots. Mm-hmm, she even decided to stop dyeing her hair and remain naturally gray which was unlike Patty and Selma, who embraced their natural gray hair until a surprisingly funny revelation. You see, Patty and Selma revealed that their gray hair is in fact just smoke and ash. They then shake their hair to reveal that they have blonde and red hair respectively, but it is their chain-smoking nature that turned their hair gray. It seems smoking runs in the family because in a later episode, Jacqueline reveals that Clancy died of lung cancer, which could be as a result of smoking. After this, Patty and Selma try to quit smoking, but things don't end well initially. Patty also has a favorite brand of cigarettes called Lady Laramie 100s, and we don't think she will stop smoking since it's a habit she grew up with. Another interesting fact about Patty's character is that she was named after Matt Groening's sister, Patty Groening, who was an art dealer. Hatred for Homer. It's no secret that Patty and Selma don't like Homer and vice versa. Their loathing of him seems to be deep enough that they don't care if he dies. One such awful yet funny example is in Homer's Triple Bypass. In the fourth season episode, Marge is cutting coupons with Patty and Selma when she receives a call from the hospital that Homer has a heart attack. Instead of showing any concern for Homer, the two sisters barely react to the news. Oh my god, what? Five cents off wax paper. In a darker moment of the episode, Homer considers jumping off a bridge after he believes Marge to be cheating on him. Patty and Selma, of course, cruelly encourage him to do so. Unlike Selma, who on rare occasions is nice to Homer, Patty hates him totally, even when she saw how devastated Marge was when Homer left her to find a better job. She still refused to help them get back together. The kids also seem to defend their father from Patty and Selma's taunting and insults. Just like the time Patty told Lisa she was just trashing her father. Lisa stood up for Homer, but Patty did not seem to care what Lisa had to say. Patty and the Simpsons. One thing certain about Bart, Lisa, and Maggie is their dislike and hatred for their aunts, Patty and Selma. 
In the season 3 episode, Homer Alone, Marge decided to take a break from being a housewife and taking care of their children in a health spa called Rancho Relaxo. So, Marge kept her children under the care of Patty and Selma, but Maggie stayed with Homer at home being afraid of the arrogant twins while Bart and Lisa ended up dealing with a snoring Patty and Selma. Because of this, they could barely sleep, taking her sister's date. One of the craziest things about the identical twins, Selma and Patty, is that they both wanted different things in life and made different choices altogether, regardless of the fact that they created havoc today. Selma is more gentle on the inside, meanwhile Patty is rude on both the outside and the inside. Patty is mostly the cause of Selma's misfortunes, and she tends to use her for her selfish desires and not helping her sister find her true love like she wanted. This will be told properly in Selma's story. Now, back to Patty. Having practiced celibacy for 25 years, Patty has no interest in finding a man that loves her, nor is she desperate for love like Selma. When Marge tries to help Selma find a husband, she consulted Homer, who brought Principal Skinner back home to meet Selma when he found out that Skinner is single. Now, Principal Charming had other plans since he set his eyes on Patty, love at first sight. He asked her out on a date, but Patty refused until Selma intervened, begging her to go out for the first time in 25 years. Patty finally goes out with Skinner, but doesn't enjoy her first date. Well, it doesn't end there. The pair keeps seeing each other till their chemistry is brought to light, and that's when Skinner proposed to Patty. Patty, who has no interest in spending the rest of her life with a man, rejects the proposal and goes on to save Selma from her horrible date with a drunk Barney. Sexuality. I'm marrying a woman. I'm... I'm gay. From childhood, Patty had shown the tendencies of being a tomboy. A heart speed to the city streets We begin to feel the fire we rise like tall buildings as the chemicals it takes. You could see it from space, Marge. Patty officially comes out as gay in the 16th season episode There's Something About Marrying and gets engaged to a female golf player called Veronica. However, on the day of their wedding, Marge discovers that Veronica is a cisgender heterosexual man named Leslie. Leslie asks Patty if she wants to marry him regardless, but Patty snaps at him. Hell no! I like girls! This causes the congregation to applaud her. It's a great moment for Patty as she stayed true to herself and eventually got the support from Marge that she needed throughout the episode. Ah, Selma! Relax, it's just me, Patty. Ah, Patty! Do you have your disguise? Hola, I am Esteban de la Sex Face. That means Stephen of the Sex Face. Okay, now let's prepare our mental images so we can kiss each other without barfing. <laughs> Treehouse of Horror 3 has a segment about a living Krusty doll that is cursed and is trying to kill Homer. In one incident, Homer is showering when the Krusty doll appears in another attempt to kill him. Homer leaps out of the shower and runs screaming through the house completely naked. In the process, he passes Patty and Selma, who happen to be visiting. After a brief shocked and horrified pause, Patty declares, There goes the last lingering threat of my heterosexuality. This statement provides more light on the fact that she has no interest in the male gender. On another instance, Patty sees a naked Homer in the shower and she doesn't make a big deal out of it, but Homer's case is different as he prevents Bart from seeing a naked Patty. Even Bart is scared of Patty. <laughs> The Flanders Ladder episode describes how Patty became one of the many wives of Ned Flanders despite being a lesbian like she pointed out. The future of Lady Shrek. Speaking of her future, after having plastic surgery, Patty is left with a fluffy tail. Patty and Selma still live together, remaining inseparable. They are apparently both still single as hinted by Selma who threatens to stuff Edna Krabappel's hat down her throat if she catches the bouquet at Lisa's wedding. This is before Edna's character was removed from the series with regards to Marcia Wallace's death. 
In another future, both Patty and Selma have love bots, but the bots decide that they are unable to love them and run off together much to the annoyance of Patty and Selma. One thing about Patty's dark personality is that she is always being herself, not allowing any circumstance or challenge to sway her to become who she is not. Such confidence. And that's it for the story of Patty. If you want to find out about the story of her twin, Selma, click this video. Come on, click it.